Hey guys, thanks for checking out this clip of Anatomy of the Church and State. Be sure to catch the full episode on Rumble or ChristiansForLiberty.com. Links are in the show description. And we get that from when Jesus, remember when they tried to trap Jesus and they said, you know, is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar? And he said, well, whose image is on that coin? Trick question. Whose image is on it? Well, Caesar's <laughs> image is on it, but whose image is Caesar made in? <laughs> you know, so it's this, it's this trap. So Caesar has his image on it. And then God says, render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's and to God the things that are God's. He separates. Not all things are Caesar's. Some are. And that word render means to pay back. So Jesus is saying, you have obligation to Caesar for certain things. If he minted the money and he created the roads, he's allowed to tax you. So you have to pay him back. But you also have to render to God what is owed to God. And here's the deal. Nowhere in the text does Caesar get to make the determination of what's Caesar's and what's God's. Uh, that's never delegated. That's key. That's key. It is. <laughs> and so that's where you get that verse 7. Render all what is due to them. Tax to whom tax is due. That would refer to those, some of those taxes and customs. Custom would be when you're crossing a, a border. Uh, fear to whom fear is due and honor to whom uh, honor is due. Then finally, owe nothing except love. And so there's nothing here that grants the government authority over the local church. There's nothing here that grants them the authority to say if you meet, when you meet, how you meet, how many can meet, what you do when you meet. Uh, that's not here. These are just simple theological statements that the civil magistrate has been given the sword. They've been given the, the right to collect taxes so that they can carry out their God-given purposes because they're the avenger. You're not, Christian. They are the avenger. Right. That's really all